Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Atrilupu and won on penalties against Leicester City at home 3-3. We won on penalties. Um, what a that was a fun game to watch. It was even though we're losing the first half, I was like, I was sort of enjoying it in a weird way. I'm like, this is a fun game to watch. And the second half, I was just on the edge of your seat. You don't expect it in a fucking League Cup quarterfinals, but we made it to the semi-finals, and you know what? Let's fucking win it. Huh? Why not? City out, that's their competition, but we had used to have the records. We want to get that record back. We want to have the most league cups ever. We want to do that this year. And as the kids just started basically, we club with the COVID and everything, and they had a weak cough, and apparently they had COVID plays, but they started a first team. Very odd, that in it. It's very odd. It's just, and we started with fucking kids everywhere. Callahan started in goal. Back four was mixed match. It was Connor Bradley starting. Go Joe Gomez, who's first start in a while. Uh, Billy Comedia's first start for Liverpool ever, I think. I think, and then Chimacasa left back, and midfield was more to Henderson, Oxford, a bit more, a bit more experienced, and then front three of um, Nick Williams on the right wing, Bobby, and then tuck him in the middle on the left, and Thicky, yeah, this is going to be hard, because they had their first team out, they had basically their first 11 out, Thicky, shit, how are we going to fucking do this, and it was a bit, the first 20 minutes was hard, <laughs> sorry if I, I feel a bit rough in the voice, but, um, I was going to say, the first 20 minutes, we were, we were a bit, uh, we were lacking sharpness. We, were, we couldn't find our man in our passing. We could have, we looked a bit slow. And then they scored two goals, two okay goals from Vardy, and, um, both from Vardy, weren't they? Um, Cali Pro should have done better in the first goal, and then the second goal was just, uh, they outnumbered us, and it was a good ball across the box, and Vardy tapped it in. And after that, the next 20 minutes, we looked all right. We actually looked okay. We were passing the ball a bit more. Um, trusting our abilities, taking the game a bit more, and the young and the youngsters just took the game on, and we scored lovely goal for me. And I thought it was really good. Oxford finished that first goal very very nicely, but then they scored at the end of halftime. It was three one. Thinking shit, shit. Are we gonna make some changes? Just the club won't make any changes, and it's pretty good to say. It's pretty good in the league cup to say okay. Straight to pants, fuck off extra time. So Klopp can say, okay, they're gonna definitely play uh, maximum forty-five minutes. That's a maximum. So he puts on a half time. Uh, Jota, Kanata, and uh, who's the other sub? Jota, Kanata, and uh, Milner. Hammers Milner. And it was three one down. It was a goal from Madison at the, at the end of the first half. It was a, it was a good goal. Oxley Chamberlain closed him down, and then the ball just bubbled up in front of Madison. And he could just smash. It was a nice goal, but a bit lucky with the bounce. Uh, in front of him, literally, to strike for the ball. It's a lovely strike, but a bit lucky on the bounce, to be fair. And it was 3-1. Klopp makes those three changes. More to comes off. Uh, Connor Bradley comes off. And also, Billy Cometio thinking, okay, let's put some, some experienced players on. And it was just Liverpool. From there, it was just all Liverpool. The crowd was amazing. Atmosphere was just... It was. It sounded like a Champions League uh, second leg. I don't feel where we're trying to get the... We were trying to come back. It's just... Atmosphere was unreal, unreal. I was, and you start, you sort of like on the edge, just see like, come on, go right, you're fucking throwing, call like, come on. You like, you shouting at the screen with the fucking fires. It's amazing. It was honestly, it's like the, one of the best atmosphere I've heard for a long time. Fuck COVID, fuck all that shit. That this is football, league cup quarterfinal. The kids are doing all right. They, you know, the second string team. And then we got the second goal from Jota. Jota, the fucking slaughter. He scores again. Scores again. And then makes it uh, makes it 3 2. And we were on top. Corner after corner. We're winning the 50 50s. Uh, Kanata and Gomez were playing really well. I thought Nico and Costas were one of the best players on the pitch. Midfield was doing okay. But then once Nabi comes on. And then uh, once Nabi comes off for Henderson, I thought it was really good in the midfield. The midfield battles of just Milner. Ox and Case was just an experience of moving up quick and just driving forward and just creating each other. Kate just changed the game completely to me. Like with Henderson on the pitch for the first 20 minutes of that second half, we were thinking, okay, we're actually doing well. We're playing so much better than them. Um, but once Kate took on, he just put his foot on the ball and no one could stop him. He just glide. He's, he dribbles in a weird way, Nubby. It's more like a... Um, Chris Patrick says this on the Revan TV. Uh, he used to say this often. Nabi Kate just when he dribbles the ball, it doesn't look like an a um an, a, a, a typical dribble. It's like it looks like he's just like sliding on ice skates and he's just like gliding, like gliding through like very very calm. And it's like no one can stop him. It's very calm. 
but quick in the sound. It's such it's a weird dribbly. It's not it's not a dribbly technique. It's just the way he dribbles, the way he carries the ball. It's it's amazing. It's quite it's, it's so easy on the eye to watch. So he changed the game. He came on about sixty fifth minute. I think came on uh, for Hendel. And it was just all Liverpool. The crowd were up and we're just getting shots off. Um, creating chances, lots of chances. And then at the end of the game, putting chances. Oh, Beck came on for 10 minutes for Costas Chibikas. We had to take Chibikas off. He was playing amazing, but we needed him for a couple of days. And then the game after that against Leicester, we needed him. Fuck it out. And we, I was wondering, maybe Milner's going to play or Beck's going to continue to come on for 5-10 minutes to give Costas a break. Especially got Roberts out until the Chelsea game. And we've got two games to go. Uh, the Leeds game, Leicester game. So Beck comes for the last 10 minutes. That was all right. It did all right. He won a couple 50-50s. And he carried the ball nicely. I think he, it's not bad. And then we get a goal late, late on. 95th minute. We got a corner. And the ball comes back. I think Milner. Sorry, got blocked. No, so Milner whips that ball. And I think it was in I think it was indeed it was indeed or Tillemans. I think one of them missed the header. Taki chases it down, bounces in front of him, and he side foots it. The technique on that goal is superb. And he didn't get it low. He gets it about fucking stomach height and it just slices it like a half volley on the side. And he can't stop that. It was an excellent. It, the, the placement on that goal is fucking brilliant. And it, it ends up 3 3. We've got the Jota guy and the Takumi Minamino, who is Mr. Carabao Cop, isn't he, this season? I just, I'm so happy for him because he was having the best game. He had, he had a bit of a. He struggled a little bit uh, physically, not technically, because technically he's actually very like neat and tidy footballer, but just physically he's small and he's a, a quick. He's a bit like. <sighs> I don't explain. He's, he's a bit like a Coutinho, tech, uh, physically Coutinho. Very tidy, but Coutinho has a different level of technic, uh, technical ability, but just tidy, just looks neat. But that technique, and, bah, and it makes it 3 3. And they were time wasting the fucking bell widths. Honestly, time wasting every single. They were time wasting a 3 1 down. Every throw in it took an extra 20 seconds. Every free kick, extra 30 seconds. Schmeichel was giving the biff all game. He was time wasting. Madison going for the crap the fucking Tory cons. It was just, uh, it's just, fuck off. And it, it's just, it's something satisfying to watch a team with time waste and then get beaten. It's like a, oh, yeah, beautiful chef's kiss. Fuck you. Get in. <laughs> it's one of those, it's so satisfying to watch. So, oh. It just, oh, you deserve it, you fucking bunch of twats. Oh, love it, love it. And then 3-3 goes to uh, penalties. And the man of the moment, Quiven Callagher, saves two penalties off, yeah, it wasn't in that true, saves the last two penalties, it was Bertrand and it was someone else. I don't give a fuck, but Callagher is the fucking cop goalkeeper hero. And I wonder if he's going to play in the semifinals. Uh, next month, but Takumi Minamino could have been also the second time hero, but he fucking plays it over the bar. Part of it hit the cross, but went over the bar. Thinking, oh, Taki, no! And then it goes into extra time of parodies, and the Keller saves it, and then Diogo Jota, the man of the moment, he just scores again, and scores a good parody, and gives the business to the lesser fans. Yeah, fuck you, you fucking twats. Oh, that's fucking, that's, that's proper, I love cop games because of that, those little moments. It's just, it's just amazing. It's just, get to see this, the second string team play, get to see the crowd up. And because of the second string team and some kids, they feel and like they're, they're, they're full of energy and they want to win. Not that, not that the first they don't want to win, but they, they're eager to impress the, eager to impress Klopp and the coaching staff. They think, yeah, me, it's me. I thought Bobby was fucking, um, Bobby's the first team, but... Chimacas was boss. I thought Nico had a good game. Callagher did well at the, at the cup. Kalate had an also good game. Gomez was good in the game after a slow start. Uh, who else had a good game? Nabi was brilliant. Uh, Takumi Mino with a fired goal. And Jota again scores again. It's just, it's just nice to see. It's just... And there we go. Semi-finals. Here we go. Tottenham won. Chelsea won. And also Arsenal bet Sunderland. So the cop... Actually, they said they were going to release the... The fucking uh, scheduling in the next round. I don't know if that's been made already. Where's it? Surely it's gonna make soon. Surely, surely, because um, they said they're gonna make the scheduling right after the game. 
Okay, Carabao Cup. Coca-Cola Cup, is it? It's Coca-Cola Cup. Alright, give me a fucking... Here we go. Oh, it's on YouTube, isn't it? It is on YouTube. I've been done. It's been done. Semi final draw. Get a spare me, I mean. Alright, here we go. Number one. Who's number one? Arsenal, number one, Arsenal are gonna verse Liverpool. Arsenal versus Liverpool. <laughs> Fucking hell. Club versus Arteta again. And we're away. It better not be fucking um. It better not be semi uh two semi um two semi final legs. Otherwise, they're fucking stupid. Cops gonna say that in a post match press conference. Hopefully, fucking please, like please be like you know use your common sense, please. Why? Why is it two legged? Anyways, we'll leave it right there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the, uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell notification you to get notified when I upload or go live. Follow us on Twitter. Instagram and I stream on Twitch, Football Manager, and some of those other games when I'm feeling it. Hey, eh? uh, that's it, boss. And we'll see you guys later.